Today we're going to be looking at using Blender 3D to watermark a video. Uh, this tutorial is going to assume that you know the basics of Blender and the basics of using the node editor. Um, so let's get started. We have our default scene here. We're going to hit delete to delete that default cube. We'll hit spacebar, add mesh, I'm sorry, add text. There's our text. We'll hit tab to go into edit mode and we'll change that to say whatever we want. We'll just say watermark. And then we'll hit center here to center it. Tab again to get out of edit mode and then we'll hit R, X and then hit type 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. We'll hit 1 on our number pad to go into front view here and we'll hit shift 0 to move the camera to the front view. We'll hit S to scale up our words here. Now if we hit F12 we can see the render, you can see it's kind of dark, that's due to where the lighting is placed. We'll hit 7 here to go in the top view. Right click on the light here to select it and hit G to grab and move it. We'll hit F12 again and now you can see your words very clearly. Another thing is the sizing of this window. Let's go into our scene menu here which is F10 and I'm going to choose NTSC since that's what my video I'm going to be working with is. Once again if we hit F12 you see it renders out in a different aspect and resolution here. So now we uh, are done with the 3D editing part of this. We're going to go up here to Node Editor. So you're going from where your 3D window is to this little icon here. Click on this drop down menu and go to Node Editor. We're going to click the picture of this face to go into Composite Nodes, Use Nodes, and Backdrop. It automatically adds our rendered image here to our composite window here. We're going to hit spacebar and we're going to add another input and we'll say image. We'll click load new here and we'll go to where we have our video clip saved and I'll just choose a little clip from a video I've been working on. There it is there. Now I'll scale this up a little bit. We have to click here and say that it is a movie. We also want to click the car here so it auto refreshes the frames. But right here, this option here is the amount of images in this animation, and it's one. Right now, we don't know how many images are inside this video. It's very easy to find out. Come down here to our menu, and we'll choose shading, which is F5. Go to textures. We'll add a new. From this drop down, we'll choose image. And when we click this little drop down here, you can see the video files already loaded since we loaded it in the node editor. Choose that, and right here for frames, click this little icon with the arrow on it and it gives it the frames of that video which in this case is 689. So we'll type in here 689. Now we need to mix the two images. So we'll hit spacebar, we'll go to color, mix, it automatically connected uh, the video to image here because we had that selected. If it did not just click this and drag it over to image and where it says uh, the fract here, we're going to take the alpha from our render layer and put it there. We'll connect the mix window to our composite image which uh, is what will be rendered out but we want a preview of it so we'll choose, we'll hit spacebar, add, output and we'll go viewer and we connect the output of the mixer to that viewer. I'm going to hold down shift and center click to drag this image over, our little preview here. You can see the video with the watermark words, but it doesn't really look like a watermark. And that's because we have mix chose here. There are a lot of different options in here, and uh, there's a few different ones I like for different effects for this. Uh, one of them is overlay. Overlay gives you a nice little watermark there. Another good one is burn, which is uh, very light, but it gives you a darker words rather than lighter words. Uh, and uh, you can just go through these and play with them. Some of them are better than others. There's multiply. Screen is makes the words very bright. Difference basically turns where the words are into a negative. So basically, for more for a um, watermark effect, you're probably going to want to use overlay or burn are probably the two best. But you can go through those and play with those. Now to render this out, go down to your scene menu down here, which is F10 and set your end frames the same number of frames of the video which is 689 and be sure to choose do composite choose where you want to save the video and what you want to call it choose the format you want to save in 
I'll do FFmpeg. I'll go here to video and MPEG2 is a good option. DV is a good option. And then just click animate. Now I do want to note that doing it this way, you will lose the audio from this video. It will only render out video. Uh, one of the things you can do, you can use the sequencer in Blender to add the audio back in. Um, or any other uh, video editing program to add the video back in or audio back into the video. But that is how you can add watermarks to a video using Blender's node editor. Uh, you can do similar things with the sequencer which I may do a video on here shortly. But I thank you for watching and please visit filmsbychris.com. Uh, that's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description and have a great day.